Good morning, everyone. My name is Steve Talsmanic. I'm the Majors Director here. And we're excited uh, that you could join us today for Whitman Little League opening day ceremony. Before we start the ceremony, I'd like to introduce Mika, a student at Whitman Hanson High School. She's going to be singing our national anthem. So if you could rise and stand for the national anthem. Amazing, thank you so much. Let's play ball! But before we do, um, we've got a special announcement from our prez, Dave Martin. Um, hold on one second. Yes, we do have baseballs. We've got plenty for the opening pitch. Um, but first, before we get to the ceremonial first pitch, um, again, uh, my name is Steve Talsmanic. I'm a volunteer on the uh, Whitman Little League board. I'd like to acknowledge all the volunteer coaches uh, for the Whitman Little League. Let's hear for the coaches. Yeah. Here for the Little League, Dave Martin. And we also have a lot of uh, support from the city in town of Whitman. I couldn't be more grateful and thankful for all of the uh, elected officials that have come out today, Fred Small on the school committee, Allison Sullivan, Jeff Deal, Justin Sullivan, Dan Salvucci, Lincoln Heineman, and Kathleen Evans. There's been a lot of support uh, this morning, so thank you to our elected officials. Justin Evans, excuse me. Uh, also, let's give a shout out to the DPW. How about these fields that looking in great shape? Thank you to the DPW for getting this field in shape today. I'm so excited about this. You may see some of these uh, trophies here. Guys, do these look pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, huh? That's a possibility. But before we get to passing these things out, I want to talk about the future in terms of uh, some of the goals that we have as a league this year. So you're going to be learning some of the basics of baseball, right? What does it take to make a baseball game, right? It's, it's a little bit of fielding, right? In the rookies, we're going to learn how to field the ball. We're also going to learn how to throw a baseball in a little league. And who knows what Coach Kelly's favorite part of baseball is? Winning. Hitting, 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 right? We're also going to be learning how to hit a baseball um, as well. So the rookies, it's going to be a little bit more instructional in learning how to hit. Um, in the minors, it's going to be practicing on those basics of baseball. And then in the majors and the juniors, it's going to be a little bit more refinement. So again, we set some goals for baseball, but we also have a goal of learning sportsmanship, right? What, is, what does that mean? What does sportsmanship mean? Does anyone know? I see a hand there. Gio. I think he's talking about some having respect for the other team, having respect for the game, positively cheering on our teammates, right guys? Uh, that's kind of my favorite part of baseball, is coming up with nicknames for the players and cheering them on. Is um, 
Elliot here? Where, where's EZ? Where's EZ? He's got one of the coolest names. Yes, there he is. Hi, Elliot. Elliot's got a pretty cool nickname, and I would encourage all the coaches to come up with nicknames for their players this year. Okay, that's that, that's one of my favorite parts of the game is, is the positive cheers uh, for the team, and we don't do negative cheers against the other team because they're out there working hard to have fun playing. And then the third goal, other than uh, learning the basics, practicing sportsmanship, the third goal is having fun, guys. We're here to have fun, okay? So those are our three goals this year as a league. So again, I'm looking forward to a fun season, but first, let's look back to 2021, right? We're, we're, we're here in 2022 right now, right guys? Is that the year? Yeah. So um, last year, um, we had a lot of fun in the league, and um, there were a couple of uh, teams that excelled um, a little more than others. And again, I want to bring it back to sportsmanship. Another part of sportsmanship is competition. Competition does not mean winning. Competition means giving it your best effort. Okay, guys? So I always want to see you give your best effort. It doesn't matter the result of the game, whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game, guys. So always give it your best shot, and I know you're going to have a fun season. Um, but also, we wanted to recognize um, a few of the teams uh, from last year. So I wanted to introduce the Miners Director of Whitman Little League, Tom Fuller. Tom. So, as the losing coach of the championship last year, this one stings quite a bit. Um, yep, I see you, Pete. So, uh, last June we had a championship game that was one of the most exciting that I've ever been a part of. It came all the way down to the bottom of the sixth inning, where we had new champions crowned, which was peak youth performance. And... Um, Here's the bitter pill. I'm going to hand the mic to the uh, championship coach of peak youth performance last year, Mr. Steve Telefana. Okay. So if you were on peak youth performance last year, come on up here, guys. Come on up. Billy McNeil, come on up. I know you have a lot of different jerseys on. Assistant coaches, Getch. Getch, come on up. Assistant coach Grimm, come on up. I want to see all the PQ performers up here. Okay. There he is. What up, Maddox? How you doing, bud? Come on up. Right up front here, guys. Okay? I want to bring PQ performance up here and call them out for an awesome performance. Okay. Wow. Look at this team here, guys. Okay. So, uh... So... I'd like to present um, each of them uh, with a trophy here. So, yeah, don't go in front of the speaker um, with, with the microphone. So as you get it, I want you guys to line up on third base here. So, Michael Telly, uh, my son, go ahead over there. Congratulations, Michael. Billy McNeil, congratulations. Great job. Christian L, congratulations. Right by the dugout prize. First base dugout, there is plenty of new baseballs. Oh, was that on mic? Maddox, get congratulations. Julian J. Grimm, Grimaldi. Rice Bry, rookie of the year, Rice Bry. Congratulations, Rice Bry. Christian Buskey. Mason Telly. Jameson J. Craven. Come on up. Congratulations, Jameson. All right, I saved the, the best two nicknames for last. Okay, guys, am I being too long? I, I was told we have 20 minutes, but 
but this is this is an important uh, nickname. Okay, this is kind of related to the All Stars. Um, we were undefeated in the All Stars, and it was one of our last games, and we were down five to four in the sixth inning. Right? It was a really intense, suspenseful game. My son gets up, he walks to load the bases. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> He didn't strike out. Gosh. All right. So then Gavin Baker gets up five to four down to Braintree. We're down five to four last inning, but there's lightning in the background, literally rolling in from Brockton. I see lightning in the background. We're about to call the game. We're like, give us 10 more minutes. Next thing you know, <laughs> lightning strikes and Gavin hit a double. Game winning double walk off. So, Gavin Lightning Baker, congratulations. Also, again, another one of my favorite nicknames. Here we have Elliot. And Elliot won an award for most team spirit on peak youth performance. But guys, do you think we can get a cheer going for Elliot? Let's go, Elliot, a.k.a. Easy e Let's go, Elliot, a.k.a. Easy e Let's go, Elliot, a.k.a. Easy e Once again, guys, it was, it was a pleasure coaching with you, Coach Grin, Coach Getch. I learned it all from you guys. Uh, that was my first year head coaching, and again, I learned it from you know some of the best here. So, congratulations on uh, on a fun year, uh, peak youth performance. And to those out there, keep working hard at it. Baseball is hard, okay? You're gonna strike out. You're gonna miss a ground ball. Don't worry about it. Keep practicing, improving. You're gonna have fun with it. Thank you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, as was mentioned, uh, big shout out to everybody. Uh, in majors last year, we had a great year. Um, we started uh, interle interleague play last year. We're going to continue it this year. Uh, it's a great opportunity for all of you guys uh, to grow. Um, a lot of our 13-year-olds now aren't here today. Uh, obviously, we got a few few guys here. Um, I'm not going to go through uh, a big individual uh, thing, but I want you guys to come up and uh, take your trophies. Uh, line up on the line. We can get a couple pictures. All right. And um, here we go. All right. I'd like just again to say thank you to everybody. Um, for you guys in majors this year, uh, really look forward to uh, a great year. Uh, we're playing some other towns, so please, uh, you know, go out there, uh, represent Whitman well, and hopefully we'll see you guys up here uh, next year. All right, Coach. Thank you very much, Chris. And again, correct, congratulations to Whitman Fire 2021 champions. And if I have anything to do with it, perhaps 2022 champions as well. All right, up next, we'd like to acknowledge the third and final team um, who had an amazing run, and I'm gonna introduce Fred Small on the school committee. Come on up, Woo! Fred Small. Thank you, Coach. Let's have a quick round of applause for all these kids, though. Woo! Beautiful Saturday, sunny day. It's all about baseball maybe a few hot dogs afterwards. Last summer, the eight-year-old all-star team, they were the cardiac kids. They were like the 67 Red Sox, which most of you guys can Google. They gave us heart attacks. Coach Tully just told the story about being down at the end and coming back and winning it. Well, these guys, it was every game the same and they were undefeated. So let's have a round of applause for the eight-year-old All-Stars undefeated last year. Oh, yeah, you guys already got your trophies, but um, you let's do a quick batting order here, right? Batting first, Nolan Seeger. Number two, Crosby Hallstar. Number three, Busky. Batting cleanup, 
Wes Meehan. Batting number five, Michael Telly. Batting number six, Future Foley. Up next, Logie Smith. Up next, Labby. Now batting, Gavin Lightning Baker. Now batting, Thomas Cookie Cook. Okay, can I do one more story? Okay, one more story. Wyatt. Hi, Wyatt. Where's your bubblegum, Wyatt? Wyatt was our center fielder, and oftentimes, you know, he's blowing bubbles out in center field and wondering if the ball's gonna be hit to him. Next thing you know, this long fly ball was hit to Wyatt. He's popping a bubble there. We're like, Wyatt! He looks up, puts his glove, didn't even move, puts his glove up and he caught it. <laughs> that's, that's one of my favorite Wyatt moments. It, it just personifies Little League Baseball. A kid out there having fun, you never know when something's gonna happen until it happens. Great job, Wyatt. All right, let's hear it for the eight-year-old All-Stars. They've got a bright future. Okay, now we're gonna try to organize a ceremonial first pitch. So a couple of you guys are going to, who has their gloves? Who has your gloves? Let's try to organize, and I'd also like to call out our elected officials. If you're an elected official, can you please head towards the pitcher's mound? Uh, we'll have a ball out there. We've got plenty of balls. And we have the superintendent of schools, Jeff. Thank you so much for your support. You're perhaps an elected official. Yeah, we'd love to get you to play out the first pitch. Thank you so much for coming. Logan, you're going to catch One, two, three, go!